The Kelly Oubre experience has been an interesting one here in Philadelphia. On the court, it has been far above what has been expected. This is a guy who has played his heart out on a night-to-night basis, but we knew there was a little baggage that came with him when he originally came to Philadelphia. Well, we got an update on some of this as a report from TMZ dropped yesterday that Kelly Oubre Jr. could be facing legal action for being involved in a car accident with his Lamborghini back in April per TMZ Sports. Quote, the man who claims he was hit by Kelly Oubre in a late-night car wreck earlier this year wants the 76 Sixers star to pay up for damages he says the Hooper caused. And if the NBA doesn't open his wallet soon, the guy tells TMZ Sports that he's going to sue. Sita, a 21 year old college student, claims Ubre was driving at a high rate of speed, causing multiple injuries to his car and his car to be totaled. So, this was a, an accident that occurred back during the playoffs. And to dive into the full report just shortly after game two, it writes that Sixers player Kelly Ubre Jr. was involved in a car crash in Center City on Tuesday, April 23rd, a 76ers spokesperson confirmed. The crash took place at the intersection of 16th and Vine Street at 1 45 a.m., according to police. This was just a few hours after the Sixers' Game 2 playoff loss to the New York Knicks on Monday evening in Manhattan, in which Oubre played 25 minutes and 33 seconds of the game. Police said the crash happened when a 2021 Lamborghini ran a red light as it was driving northbound on 16th Street and it hit a 2023 Hyundai Elantra. A 76er spokesperson said Oubre Jr. was uninjured in the crash and said the team had no further comment. Oubre Jr. played 38 minutes Thursday night in the Sixers Game 3 win over the Knicks at Wells Fargo in South Philadelphia. Police said they cannot confirm who was in the car at the time of the crash. They also said no one was injured, but both of the cars were towed from the scene. Officials did not say what Ubre Jr. was driving at the time of the crash. Ubre said, quote, everything is good. I'm okay. The people that were involved are okay. I need to probably get a driver or something and just stay off the roads, not behind the wheel. But everything is good. I was still able to do my job, support my family, and things are good. So a lot to digest there. And by the way, to put this on the table and make this clear, this is completely separate from the hit and run situation in which there still is no video surveillance. It really has been a non-story since the point of it happened. But we do know we saw the video come out of Kelly Oubre <laughs> walking into his house at that point saying he got hit by a car. Who knows what happened with all this? My ultimate takeaway is I really hope that in this new contract that Kelly Oubre signed and welcome back to Philadelphia, there's a little clause that the Sixers just provided this man with a driver or something because keep this dude off the road and away from any form of individual travel. There is no need to risk his own good, his own health, which clearly happens every time he steps outside the door and keep him healthy on the court. In fact, if you just want to keep him at Wells Fargo Arena, if that's in the deal, you just don't have to leave ever. You can just stay in the arena and never not travel with the team. That works for me too. Carve out one of those office spaces, put a bed in it. Kelly Oubre can do whatever we want that's totally fine with me as well but keep this guy off the roads and also just to add a little anecdote here <laughs> i can also confirm that kelly Oubre jr did his introductory press conference after re-signing the contract contract from a moving vehicle now it did appear he was in the passenger seat and someone else was driving not that he was driving while doing the zoom but just a little bit in poor taste given what we've known about the kelly Oubre experience at this point in time but hopefully, this is all in the rear view. Now, who knows what ultimately happened? It's obviously unfortunate. I'm glad no one was hurt with the car accident and all the situation that is. But man, Kelly, can we just focus on basketball? Now, in fairness to him, he's been awesome on the court. And to dive into how he be- has been for the Sixers team, we're talking about a season last year in which he averaged 15.4 points, 5 rebounds, 1.5 assists, 1.1 steals, shot 44.1% from field, just 31.1% from three, but one of the, the most confident Poor, poor shooter from the perimeter that I've ever seen. Just 33% from the corner there. It did feel like more than that throughout the course of the game to give Kelly credit. They do have confidence the shots going in, even with the numbers aren't necessarily indicating it. But overall, I'm happy Kelly Oubre is back, and he clearly is as well. With his quote here, he said, I fell in love with the game of basketball here, so why would I go anywhere else? When talking about him deciding to return to the Sixers, Kelly credited the city and the fans for helping helping him see a, quote, different side of basketball, which ultimately led to his return. Uber even went on to say that he doesn't want this to be his last signing. It's a two-year deal with the Sixers, and he hopes that at the conclusion of it, to sign a long-term contract. I think he is a player that's been looking for a long-term home, and if he continues to play the way that he did last year, he absolutely can find it in Philadelphia. That as much as the shooting is a bit of a concern, once again, those numbers, just 31.1% from three, 33% from the corner. While that is a bit of a concern, 
I give Kelly a ton of credit for showing a different style of basketball than he has ever played before in his career. That for the first time that I've seen in Kelly Oubre's career, he was a dirty work guy. He was a, a high-level defender, ready to pick up a primary option. And he brought that intensity on a night-to-night -night basis, whether it was slapping the floor, clapping in people's faces, doing his little safe every time he gets a block. All the Kelly Oubre, you know, smiling at the crowd, blowing kisses. I'm here for the Kelly Oubre experience. And by the way, he does seem well-liked by some of the new teammates as well. That both Paul George and Oubre have squashed any rumors of a potential beef which are originating from past altercations that occurred on the court between them just two competitors going at it we also got this quote from Kayla Martin saying quote Kelly's a really good dude from the times I've been around him it's like I've known him for years easy going dude but he's about his business he's going to be a big piece of what we're trying to do and Ubre also referred to himself in the introductory press conference as the third twin to Caleb and Cody Martin and Cody Martin also was in attendance for Caleb's introductory press conference here in Philadelphia which I do think was a cool moment there uh cody and kelly played together during their time in charlotte so cool kind of relationship that we've seen here but the bottom line is uber is a huge part of the sixers team and he must stay off the roads to make sure that this does continue there so while i did make a, a joke about a large part of this in all seriousness if uber can just purely stick to basketball that is going to be the driving force of your opportunity to sign this long-term extension that i still think and we kind of saw on full display he came to philadelphia on a veterans minimum with the intent to rebuild his value he absolutely did that did get a raise is now making that $8 million range, which is a large step up from the two to three-ish that he made last year, but still probably not what his talent is worth. That Ubre is a guy with all-star level talent, that just doesn't quite make those level of decisions both on and off the basketball court there. So if he can continue to prove this, embrace his role on the Sixers team, which I even think you can compare a little bit to a guy like, and he's a different style of player in this, but when you think about Aaron Gordon and what he means to the Denver Nuggets, that from a talent standpoint, he's better than like the numbers show and the impact that he does make, but he just does the gritty work, does the little things, and it really a valuable piece. He was a large driving force why they were able to get over that championship hump there. I do think Kelly Oubre could have embrace a similar style of role and again they're different types of players but I think characteristically it does translate there that Ubre was after the year prior to him coming to the Sixers he's the only player in the NBA to score 20 plus points per game and have to sign a veterans minimum the next season everyone else seemed to get a bag and Ubre did feel left out of it so I'm happy that he's feeling embraced by the Sixers I do love these types of quotes about him falling in love with basketball again I do think he was a player who needed a little bit of a home and this really being the first opportunity in his career in which he's playing for a winning team even his season that he spent with the Warriors was that in between year where they kind of were tanking and before the James Way Wiseman era which was a huge miss there and all that type of stuff so I think he enjoys being able to compete on a high level he is a guy that I think rises up for the bright lights, which I think we're seeing about a lot of players on this team. Caleb Martin, I've talked plenty about that when you look at the numbers that he brings to the floor, they don't pop in the way that his impact certainly feels when you watch him in the postseason. And while Paul, Paul George has his flaws and has his concerns in the playoffs, there's also been some real highs in those same moments or in those same opportunities there. And I think that gets a little brushed over the rug as well. So ultimately, I'm happy Kelly Oubre is being a part of this core. He brings a lot of what I think the Sixers team needs when talking about, you know, versus versatility, defensive impact, his athleticism that he does bring, his ability to, and willingness to want to dunk every time he's attacking the rim. I love having as a nice counter to the Paul George and Tyrese Maxey who are more smooth and calculated in their delivery there. So welcome back, Kelly Oubre. I am happy that you're remaining on the Sixers team, but for the love of everything, please stay off the roads, my friend. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. Do you have any concern about Kelly moving forward? Should we have any level of concern with this, or is this something that we just kind of brush over and move on? I'm more so on the second side of things, that as long as he continues to produce on the court, as long as there aren't any serious issues, and while, like, these traffic accidents and him getting having to go to the hospital, all these types of things are not great. It's not like the same level of him actively trying to be harmful or making some incredibly poor decisions in a way that's super detrimental. It's kind of, you know, an accident, an unforced error that occurred there. So hopefully no more of that for Kelly, but this isn't something that I'm going to be holding entirely against him, nor do I think anybody should. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, make sure you're smashing that subscribe button if you have not already and dropping a like on this video here. And I'll be talking to you next time right here on Sixers Digest. Peace.